Hello, Vega. Vega, welcome to your reading. Let's dive deep into this reading to see the messages that are wanting to come up for you. We have some cards on the table. Let's grab another set of tarot cards. Vega, as we're getting our cards, I want to remind you that these readings are general. So please do take what is resonating with you. Leave behind anything that is not for you. And if you need your own personal reading done, my website is linked in the description box below. And on my website, you'll be able to see all the other services that I offer. Okay, so go and be curious. My website is down there. So we have your cards, Virgo, on the table. And I like the cards that you have. Okay, you have some really nice energies that are here. You're starting off with the energies of celebration, which is the three of cups. And as you can see, the divine is saying to you that there is going to be some celebrations on the cards. You're going to be raising a glass. You're going to be maybe going to a party. You're just going to be feeling good about a job well done or about receiving your manifestations. You have a great harvest that is on the cards. And the divine is saying, start seeing and start thinking about what is coming towards you and start feeling like this. Envision yourself as one of these people really feeling good about what you're experiencing, because when you start feeling it, you start magnetizing it and it becomes a reality for you a lot faster. Because indeed, your heart is going to be overflowing with so much gratitude. You're feeling good. You're full of gratitude for everything that is happening for you. Other people are celebrating. They are giving you that pat on the back and saying, hey, you did a good job. There's something that we need to talk about, okay? Because you have the energies of the moon card. The divine is saying when you are being celebrated, when you are being seen, when life is going good. For some of you, there just could be this, this thing that you do where you start self-sabotaging the blessings that are flowing to you. Why do you do that? Is it because you feel you don't deserve these blessings that are here? Or maybe sometimes you self-sabotage because you feel that if I enjoy too much, what about if it goes away? What about if challenges come up again? There's very much an energy of fear that is here. For some of you, you could have imposter syndrome that comes up. What about if people don't think I deserve to be going viral? What about if people don't think I deserve to be charging these prices? What about if people don't think, don't worry about what people think? In fact, what people think is none of your business. Let them think whatever it is that they want to think. Do not let their thoughts sabotage this good thing that you have going on. Do not let them trigger you into feeling fearful because the energies of the moon card is saying that there just could be some fear that comes up and the fear could threaten this good thing that is here, this blessing that has flown into your life. So the divine is saying, rather... Use the energies of the moon card at its highest polarity and use it to sharpen your intuition so that when people are jealous, when they are not happy for you, when you're seeing that people are not clapping when you're winning, you start to distance yourself and you start to protect your heart because you're not wanting other people's opinions to burst your bubble and to bring your energies down. So it's the energies of the King of Swords is clarifying the moon card. We can see that you have divine wisdom that is here. You've got your guides, your ancestors that are watching over you and you're starting to look at people and seeing their true intentions, their true colors, their naked truth. You're starting to see that, well, maybe someone is a monitoring spirit. They're always coming to you and saying, hey, what are you working on? Hey, questions, questions, questions. The divine is saying, learn to keep your mouth shut. 
and not giving people ammunition to come and destroy your dreams. For some of you, you could be dealing with people who are destiny stealers, right? They want to divert your destiny towards them. They don't want to see you at the top of your game. They don't want to see you as the king of swords. So they are always watching. They're always wanting to be near. Watching over your shoulder. So the divine is saying, ask your guides and your ancestors and your spirit team to put a wall of protection around you so that the monitoring spirits are not able to see what is happening and the destiny stealers cannot divert the good energies that are yours to them. Okay, and it is going to be really important for you to stop sharing your goals, your dreams. It is going to be really important for you to see people for who they are. And when things are going good, you're making sure that these people are the last ones to find out. Because, of course, there are some people who are genuinely happy for you. And that's good because you need to celebrate. You need this divine energy. But at the same time, you're mindful at who you share sensitive information with. You're vetting people's intentions. You're vetting people's actions. You're starting to understand how to work with your intuition. And if the vibe is off, the vibe is off. The barriers are up straight away and you're not allowing monitoring spirits to enter into your close circle so that they can start listening and they can open up portals for your good energies to just slip away. You might have noticed this, that sometimes things start going really good for you. Okay, you're getting the job offer. Someone is wanting to buy a home. There are just blessings after blessings after blessings that you can see starting to sprout. You can see all the good potential that is there. Emotionally, you're just like, I can feel it in my bones. And you share what is coming. And suddenly, everything starts to wither away and die. And nothing ever really manifests into your life this is because you've got monitoring spirits and this is because you've got people who know how to divert your good energies to them. OK, so the divine is saying, find your soul tribe, find your lovers, find the people who match your energies, find people who you you can be honest. You can stand in your own authenticity, in your naked truth, and you're comfortable with that. And now you are knowing that these people will have my back and it doesn't matter what is happening. They will have my back because they know that I'm a good person. They know that I've worked really hard for all the blessings that have manifested for me. They are not the people who are jealous, who are wanting to look at what's on your plate. And when you tell them your dreams, when you tell them that you're going to get promoted when you tell them that you know you're about to get that job because you've been called for a third interview and you can feel that you've got it. You are not going to be sharing this with people because you're understanding that these people are only there smiling. But there are wolves that are ready to devour and to destroy everything that is coming towards you. So the divine is saying, see people's truth. Okay. And guard yourself, but don't let them be the reason why you are overly too cautious. You have to remain balanced. And to remain balanced, you need to find the people who match your energy, the people you can speak to about your wins and also your failures. This is how you know you've got true friends. This is how you know you've got your soul tribe. When the people who will support you, they will show up and celebrate with you. And you don't feel that you have to hide when you're failing. You don't feel like you have to hide anything from them because you show up for them equally as they show up for you. And sometimes, you know, on this journey to victory, to success, you have to learn to show up for yourself whilst you are vetting and assessing some people's true intentions. Because, you know, 
when you are winning, when you are climbing the ladder, when you're on the top of your game, suddenly all these people just start showing up, showing up. And sometimes it is difficult to decipher who is truly honest, who will have your back even if you have nothing. These are the people who you are meant to have in your inner circle. All right. So last card that we have. OK, we've got all the celebration. You've got all the good news that is coming in. You've got the divine wisdom that is looking after you. You're finding your soul tribe. Life is good. And the divine is confirming that there are indeed some new beginnings. And the new beginnings that are here require you to take a leap of faith. OK, so for some of you, you're wanting to start that business. You're wanting to start that YouTube channel. You're wanting to start learning tarot. You're wanting to start learning something that you are then able to build something solid from. You are able to harness and harvest from the hard work that you put in instead of letting another company take from you. So the divine is saying that there's something new that is here. Go learn something new. Take that leap of faith. Go on a journey. And you're going to be seeing that you're going to be growing. And as you're growing, you start finding your soul tribe who are also on that growth journey. They know what it feels like to fail. They know what it feels like when you have just have that imposter, imposter syndrome starting to show up. They can speak to you. They can support you. They can pour into you. And equally so, you pour into them and you create that team where you gel together. So the divine is saying to you, the major kind of card that is here is indicating new beginnings, but don't let fear get in the way. All right. So this is the message that I have for you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And for those of you who are doing our quantum leap ritual, let's go and do some magic now. Hello, magician. This is the section of the reading where we are remembering that we are the magicians and the architects of our lives. This is the very same manifestation ritual that I used in 2023 and it only took me a couple of weeks to become a multimillionaire. I wanted to share this ritual with you because I want that by 2025, we have thousands of people who have manifested their dreams. Now, we are going to be taking this opportunity to work together as a community wishing each other well on every reading please do remember to bring a full glass of water and your petition you could write what you want to leave behind and on the other side have an empty glass with a petition of what you want to become a reality we have our cards on the table and i use these cards just as a visualization to help me manifest so I had this star card and the star card is all about your wishes coming true. And the next card that I had was the eight of wands, encouraging my wishes to come true quickly, swiftly, fast. And then I had the magician card, which was a reminder to me that I am the magician. I am the alchemist and I am the architect of my life. So these are cards that I just chose to work with, but you don't have to do that. You can just keep it simple and to the point. So are you ready to take part in this ritual? So bring your two glasses, one empty and one full of water. The one with water, just remember to write what it is that you want to leave behind because you are going to be quantum leaping into what it is that you want. So on the empty glass of water, write what it is that you are seeing yourself enjoying. If you're wishing to win the lottery, just say with gratitude divine, I am so thankful that I have won the lottery. Infuse this type of energy, the energies of the nine of cups. Feel yourself like it's already done. 
bring this vibe, this energy when you are writing your petition like it is already a reality. Think of yourself how you're going to feel when you've won the lottery. So let's take a moment to just say a prayer to the divine with words of gratitude. Divine, thank you so much for everything that I already have in my life. Thank you for all the blessings that I have. Divine, I am the luckiest person alive. Going forward, I have some wishes that I want to make. I see myself living the life of my dreams. I see myself quantum leaping to a new timeline divine where I have won the lottery, where I am a multimillionaire, where I am living the life of my dreams, where I am healthy, where I am loved, where manifestations just happen so easily and quickly for me. And of course, for the good of all involved, and harm to none. Ashe. Can you feel that vibration? Can you feel the smile on my face as I'm seeing myself living the life of my dreams as the energies of the Nine of Cups? And this is what you want to infuse in your water so that you can quantum leap into the new timeline. So what we're going to do next, we are going to now bring into physical reality the action of quantum leaping. Let's get ready to quantum leap into the new timeline. In, breathe in and feel yourself feeling like this. And take your water and see yourself jumping over into the new timeline. And as you are pouring the water into the next cup, into that empty vessel, see yourself feel the new reality becoming a manifestation into the tangible reality. Just feel and infuse this new quantum leap, infuse this new timeline with so much joy, with so much gratitude, with so much love. Thank you, divine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now take that cup of water and drink it because now this is the new reality. This is the new timeline and the action of drinking the water is that water is going to become you, is going to become a part of you and water holds memory so we are drinking this water, holding the memory of the feeling of the energies of the Nine of Cups. We've really infused the joy. We've really infused this water with the gratitude. We have infused the love, the excitement and everything that we want as if it's already happened. So take a glass. Cheers. Enjoy the new timeline that is now becoming a part of you. <laughs> and so it is for the good of all and harm to none. Enjoy your new reality and remember to go in the comment section below and comment on eight people's manifestation because remember by giving you open up your hands to receiving. Ashe.